You know, practicing is something that really helps us be better at shot placement. Practicing in the moment, practicing with the clothing that you're going to be wearing, practicing in the conditions, you know, wearing gloves, even if it's hot outside because you know you're hunting in the winter. Practicing with the exact bow set up, the exact way you think you may be hunting, practicing shooting from your knees, practicing shooting off shooting sticks, all of those things really pay off and will help you when it comes time for shot placement. You know, when I'm hunting with first time hunters, I don't care whether it's a eight year old kid or a 40 year old first time hunter, I'm really preaching the, the broadside shot. And I don't care if we're crossbow hunting, bow hunting, hunting with a rifle, I really wanna work with them on a broadside shot. Part of that boils down to understanding what they're hunting, they've got a bigger target area. Their nerves are already gonna be, you know, shot. Their heart rate's gonna be high. Their breathing's gonna be heavy. So if we can go broadside, we've got a bigger, wider, vital target zone for them to hit. And it also, at the end of the day, we want that first experience to be successful. We want it to be positive. We don't want to be wounding an animal and tracking. It's gonna happen. They're gonna miss. We can strive to get around that by understanding that broadside shot is our best place to aim for a first time hunter. As a hunter evolves, and like for me, when I start practicing uh, for bow season, I wander around all over the place shooting. I'm liable to be standing on a ice chest. I'm liable to be climbing up in a ladder stand shooting. I'm liable to be shooting random distances, 26 instead of 20 and 30. I'm liable to walk over to this side or that side. I'm liable to be tweaking my target's angle to give me some time to shoot in that quarter and away, quarter and two, what each one of those looks like so I can practice them. When I was probably 25 to 45 and at the peak, I guess I will ever be for Wade athletically and physically, man, I never missed. As I've gotten older, my eyes have gotten a little worse, my hands shake a little more. I have to practice more because I like to hunt with everything because I want to hunt as long as I can every year. I try to challenge myself because it's amazing even after all these years of hunting, 40 plus years of hunting whitetail, my heart still pounds like crazy. What I think I see isn't always that out there. And I know that if I can get as close to broadside as I possibly can, I'm going to increase my chances because the deer is going to do what it's going to do at the moment of truth.